So what I'd like to do today is talk to you about this dilemma that the Federal Reserve is in. Because I believe that what is causing the volatility in financial markets, what is behind the third sort of year-to-date, end of the third quarter, dismal results for domestic stock markets, for emerging markets, for global stock markets, really even the bond market hasn't been doing very well. Pretty much across the board, we've seen a pretty uh, unpleasant, right? It's been an unpleasant year for capital markets. And for those of you particularly who have projects that are far out on the yield curve when you're out there in the most high risk spots, you're seeing that pull back pretty quickly and aggressively. And you're thinking to yourself, okay, what is going on? Well, I do believe it's related to this remarkable uncertainty that has been introduced into markets around when is the Federal Reserve going to move? Because again, like I said, we were cruising into that September meeting all through the summer and the Fed was right on track to raise rates, even, even by a little bit. Not gonna be a problem, very well telegraphed, markets were expecting it, and then all of a sudden, they don't move. And we're going, will they? When? How much? Well, I'll get to the sort of point. I don't think it's going to be by very much. When the Fed does raise rates, it's going to be by just a little bit. And it will probably be sometime before the end of the year, probably at their last meeting. Because what the Federal Reserve is having to deal with are two opposing forces right now. What capital markets and any capital market participant is struggling with right now are two competing stories and narratives. On the one side is the slowdown caused by the Chinese economy globally. We're going to talk about that and the implications for that and what their crisis means. Try to get a handle on that. So that's on sort of the negative side of the scales. But then at the same time, if you look at what's going on with the U.S. consumer and what's going on in the U.S. economy, and people sort of forget, we've sort of discounted the U.S. consumer over the last few years, but we need to remember that it really truly is that U.S. consumer that is the driver of growth, ultimately. And what's going on with the U.S. consumer, all the forces are stacking up for the U.S. consumer to be the most positive environment that they have experienced in over 10 years. 